Okay, welcome. So today I wanted to just make a, some observations about my podcast, do some updates, uh, and also ask for a little bit of help, actually. Uh, and so, yeah, that is uh, my intention for the day. Okay, so <clears throat> just first of all, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate your support, especially with my podcast. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, the comments and, you know, just people reaching out to me, giving me ideas for guests. So <clears throat> the reason I'm partly making this video is I think it's probably useful just to let people know that what I get up to in the background of doing the podcast is, you know, some people reach out to me, well, how do you get a good podcast going? And the reality is I reach out to a lot of people. Um, and I've said this on previous videos that I might reach out to 10 people and I might get one reply. Uh, and I think in this last week, maybe last couple, two, three weeks, I've possibly reached out to 15 people and I have probably heard back from one or two people. Uh, and so, which is interesting because it's like, it, it brings stuff up for me. You know, as I've shared before, it's like, you know, am I doing the right thing? And then I always come back to why I'm doing the podcast. And the idea is to, you know, make it better known about trauma and especially around boarding school trauma. Um, this is a subject which is not really spoken about. Um, you know, in this last week, I have reached out to the, the, the head of Mandate Now, which is a company or a charity, which is looking to um, change the legal structure so that mandatory reporting of child abuse in schools becomes it, it's legal. You have to report at the moment it's not legal. So I've reached out to him. I have heard back, but he's not able to come on. Um, I've also reached out to the church and to get them to come and speak. Um, I've heard back from one of the priests, but they were like, well, I can't really speak about that. So I guess my invitation from you as listeners is one would be, you know, are you enjoying the podcasts? Are you finding them useful? And if you are, what would be useful is, you know, I'll put links below, but going on to places like iTunes, leave a review. What happens is then that goes up the rankings uh, and then more people see it. The more people that see it, the more downloads I get when I go to people and say, look, I'd love you to come on. I can say, right, I've got 50,000 or I've got 100,000 downloads. Um, and that would be really, really useful. Another way is of helping me is if you have ideas for guests. I do event uh, from time to time. People do reach out and say, what about speaking to this person? Or you might listen to a podcast or know someone and you think, oh, they would be great. Um, to speak about trauma, you know, some of the topics, men's psychology. I speak to a lot of um, Mankind Project uh, members uh, and some of the elders. I speak to a lot of boarding school trauma related people um, and spirituality uh, and trauma in general. So really intrigued by, OK, who would you love me to speak to? I'm hearing Gabor Maté. I'm hearing Bessel van der Kolk. Um, and I will eventually reach out to these people. And yet I'm at the point of, if I do now, they're probably, they're going to ignore my emails. So it's like once I keep building, building, building um, the foundation. And the intention is to keep going as long as people are interested. So if you are enjoying these podcasts, please do comment below or, you know, like this video. Just say, yep, yeah, you know, keep doing it you know, leave reviews or, or, or share it. Um, sometimes for me, what comes up is, you know, and I guess that's my boarding school, my trauma thing, is, you know, when I don't hear back from 10 people, part of me is like, is there something wrong with me? Um, you know, um, and I, I can get a little bit deflated. So sometimes it's like, okay, I've just spoken to a client who says, oh, I love your podcast. So that's really useful for me to hear. It's like, okay, I'll keep going. And that's definitely my intention. 
to keep going with this. Because I see, yeah, um, as I shared in my video last week, the world's in crisis at the moment. And therefore we need to be having these conversations, talking about trauma. That, yeah, why do we keep creating these crisis points? What's going on within us, and especially our leaders that are creating these things? Are our leaders traumatized? And, you know, that is something I would suggest is yes, a lot of our leaders are traumatized. Uh, and that's why having these conversations is so important. Let's start changing the system, uh, bringing some healing. Um, so, yeah, one of my conversations I was hoping to have about ICSA, and maybe that will still happen, but maybe with someone else, this child abuse. Um, report which has just come out is that you know the system's not going to change from this and no mandatory reporting it's not changing so somehow somehow we, we we need to change and i feel there's enough ex-borders enough people who've been traumatized to go right let's stand up let's start doing let's you know stand up with our voices and our actions go right Okay, we need to speak about this. Let's do something here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, like I say, for your support. So, yes, if you can, you know, if you like it, like the video, you know, leave a comment, review it on iTunes or share my videos um, with people who think, oh, yeah, that's a great interview. Um, I think that would be great. Um, and if you think of anybody who you'd like me to interview, please put them below in the, um, the box. Uh, and if you see someone has already put a Bessel van der Kolk or a Gabo Mate, just put a, a, you know, a like next to it and I'll see, ah, yeah. And eventually I will reach out to these people. Um, you know, I reached out to quite a lot of well-known figures, um, but I, like I say, I often don't hear back um, until I'm a, a Joe Rogan or a, a Jordan Peterson you know, and that might happen eventually, then I'll be able to pick and choose who I who I get on at the moment. You know, I don't. So I've got Dawson Church coming on in a couple of weeks, who is the author of this book here, The Genie in Your Genes. Uh, and he is a, a fascinating guy, award-winning scientist. I think he's, well, I don't know if he's award-winning, but he's a well-known scientist. Um, a lot of he's published quite a lot of books. Um, so we'll be talking about trauma, PTSD, um, and energy psychology. Uh, and then I hopefully be speaking to Bruce Parry that got cancelled from last week to um, to April. So yeah, but thank you so much. And yeah, uh, take care. Any questions? Just let me know.